Happy birthday, Corrine Davis. Born June 14, 1929. Died February the 2nd, 2011. Gone but not forgotten. This is dedicated to Corrine Davis because she the one that helped me build the shorty program. In 1986, she put up money for the shorty program. The state of Illinois got a shorty program in in their records. I started it in 1985. Self-help organization for the redevelopment and re-education of the young. My mother made me the man that I know. The mother gave me my compassion. My father made me the man I am. My mother showed me how to love. My father showed me how to be a man. All right. I'm a Davis and Davises don't run from nothing and nobody. That's what we was taught. I was born in 1959. I've been watching you kill black people all my life. I'm not Emmett Till. I don't stutter when I talk. And I don't run from the police. That's Commissioner Harrison. When Commissioner Harrison came to town, I gave him a brown envelope. That brown envelope had the corruption in Baltimore City and Baltimore County Courts. The Department of Justice, Eric Barron, Eric Holder. In 1986, I went to jail behind the war on drugs. I wanted to end the war on drugs because my mama told me that I couldn't keep doing what I was, do what I was doing. She moved to Las Vegas before I got out of jail to prove her point. If you love something, you love somebody. And I love her to death. Now I'm a lover to life. The world is watching. I'm going to give them something to see. I'm going to show you about the war on drugs, the war on the black community. Straight from a black man. I'm a social scientific experiment about race and racism. Do blacks have rights in white America? That's City Hall. All right, that's City Hall. Faith Leach got this. Mayor Brandon Scott got this. The City Council got this. All right. Baltimore City Police Department, Baltimore County Police Department, and the Department of Justice got this. All right. That's Shannon Drive. All right. Dear Commissioner Harris, this letter is written in three parts. All right. You got all that? Kidnapping. I was kidnapped by the state. I was kidnapped by the state on February the 7th, 2011, three days before I was supposed to go bury my mother. Y'all told the world I was a terrorist. Y'all told the world I was a terrorist. I'm not a terrorist. I'm an activist. I was breaking the chains of oppression, the 50-year illegal war on drugs. The war on drugs is a war on the black community, and you got mad. That's the Baltimore Sun. That's Baynard Woods. He made the movie, We Got a Monster. Well, dog, I got a movie called We Got Baltimore Rewired. I got a movie called Get Shorty. And everybody knows Shorty. Ask Baynard Woods. This is my family. You stole me from my family. You told the world that I was a terrorist. You told the world that I was a terrorist. You lied to my brothers, my sisters, my nieces, my nephew. You lied to my family. This is the Davis clan. I work for 85% of the richest people in the state. The Orioles, the Ravens. I work for anybody that want to get money and do the right thing. But more for, foremost than anything, I come from Africa. All right. I'm my mother's child. I was raised by a village. I was raised by a village. And I pass that on wherever I go. These is my kids. So they can't say that I didn't teach them. I taught them what being black in America is. I applied for Martin Luther King's job and y'all got mad. I threw rocks at police since 1968, and ain't nothing about me changed. I done sat on the porch, now I'm in the streets. That's Martin Luther King's house. I sat on his porch, so I felt that spirit. I was locked up, been locked up. I'm locked up minus the bars. Social economic deprivation. The criminalization of poverty. Being black in white America. That's me when I was a little boy. It's my brothers and sisters. There's 10 of us. You feel me? And that's Peggy. When we went down to Annapolis. Fighting the fight. Court watch. That's podcasting. Before podcasting became popular. That was the first podcast. In Baltimore City. That was by James MacArthur and me. And Larry Wallace the cab guy. The celebrity cab man. That was the first podcast. Seven days later y'all locked James MacArthur up. Well I ain't locked up. That's me at the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. Me, the toilet, and Whitey. Because we talking about our freedoms and our rights. That's Sarbanes. 
The first toilet I put out was about Sarbanes. It was about our white leadership. But now y'all changed the white leadership to black leadership. But y'all still doing the same thing. Democrats and Republicans. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and you made our black community the cash crop. You pick blacks out the streets like you pick cotton out the fields. And these is the people that run the machine. The ones behind the machine. How the machine works. So I found your Achilles heel is a toilet. And I gave you some South Park shit. I gave you some comedy. I gave you some comedy and some truth. And y'all got mad. They call that sarcasm. Started with my organizing. Because I've been organizing for a long time. I've been organizing forever. I organize in the prisons. I organize in the streets. I'm an activist. And that ain't against the law. Y'all sent Mayor Pugh to jail? Well, let's start sending white people to jail. Yeah. Mayor Pugh's going to be my witness. Ask her. Like I said, I know everybody who anybody in Baltimore. Baltimore rewired the money behind the machine. I ain't got to change nobody's name. Social media for social change. Got a story called Shorty, and I ain't hard to find. I got a public number. I'm the video vigilante. And I got that camera in your face all the time. You feel me? All the time. And the Constitution. I got a right, a freedom of speech. You feel me? A freedom of expression. So when you call the police, tell the commissioner it's shorty. I'm out your pay grade. Call the police. Man, I'm an activist. I'm an artist. I'm a cook. And I'm getting ready to cook y'all up. I'm getting ready to make the sucklings fall apart. It's my season. I'm catering. I'm famous for pork. Like I said, I ain't got to change nobody's name. This was a fight between me and Governor O'Malley, and he lost. He made a bet, and he lost. He used all the powers to be, and he still couldn't beat me. To be the best, you got to beat the best, and you can't beat me. You getting ready to go to jail. If Blagojevich can go to jail, you can go to jail. You can go to jail for creating a criminal enterprise. I got 52 members of the Democratic Party. Somebody going to snitch on you. I'm not Robert Clay. I'm not the suitor. I planned this one out. Anything happened to me, you at the top of the list. Governor Ma O'Malley called the police on me in 2010 in October when him and Ehrlich had in, uh, the debate. The debate at WJZ. Robert Lang was there. WJZ was there. Congressman Cummings was there. Everybody was there. And later on that night, you sent the police to my house. Y'all threatened my life. Y'all threatened to kill me. I ain't dead yet. I'm still standing. I'm still shorty. And when I see you in public, you run like Jesse Owens. I know your secrets. I know your lies. I'm an activist. Ask Eric Barron. That's us in Annapolis. Ask Chef. He used to work for me when he was a little boy. Now he owns his own restaurant. I'm the cook in Baltimore. I feed the city. I feed the city. Shorty's bootleg barbecue. So good I'm illegal. You can Google search me. Success is the best form of revenge. And I'm successful. I went from Baltimore's worst to Baltimore's best, and I did it in 12 years. And I need an audit. That's Peter Francott. I need an audit from 2007 till now. I'm out $250 million, and the state participated in fraud. Now, Brooke Learman is the controller. So, Brooke, it's you and me, kid. I need an audit. We're going to show you where the state participated in fraud and stole money. I'm going to show you where the state lied to the grand jury to hide their lies. You can't tell a lie to tell another lie to tell another lie. Because in 2023, it's Freedom Summer. We're going to tell the truth about Shorty. I'm the cook in Baltimore. Feed the city. Everybody see that grill. Everybody know me. Shorty's bootleg barbecue. Like I said, I feed the city. I feed you meals. I don't give you hot dogs and hamburgers. I give you something that you can think about. Ask Kurt Anderson. Ask Tony Bridges. Tony Bridges was in Governor O'Malley's administration. Now he's in Westmore's administration. And they're getting ready to put Malcolm Ruff in your seat. So Westmore, Tony Bridges, Malcolm Ruff. Let's talk about Shorty. Because like I said, this is a movie about you. You the star of the show, Joe. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Or is this the new face of old Jim Crow like Michelle Alexander's book? Ask Ehrlich about me. I'm a black Republican. I helped get Ehrlich elected the first time around. I did a party at Bart Mitchell's house. Ask Kendall. Her little boy was dressed up as a cowboy. 
Yeah, Bart Mitchell's house out in Cockeysville, Maryland. Michael Steele was there and he was taking envelopes. I know the corruption and I know where the money come from. I know the secrets behind the machine. Ask Ehrlich. Say Shorty. Ask Scott Schellenberger. Everything Scott Schellenberger did since 2006 is going to be reversed and remanded. Y'all thought the gun task force was a joke? Well, we're going to go after the courts and the corruption in the courts. Book, movie, lawsuit, podcast. We're going to do this till I get my freedom. Kathy. Yeah, we're going to show you the faces that protect Jim Crow in Baltimore County. We're going to talk about the money that she got from David Smith and Fox 45 to help David Smith build his mansion out in Cockeysville off of Ivy Hill Lane while she was in office. The variances. We're going to talk about the money he been getting to be that black voice that don't protect the black community. We're going to talk about Hogan and Rutherford and Cummings. Because like I said, I'm a black Republican. I'm a black radical Republican. And I'm famous for toilets. I found your Achilles heel and I'm going to run with that shit. we be potty training politicians putting toilets all over the city. Y'all put the salt boxes up? Well, well, the toilets is coming back. And your faces is going to be all over them. You feel me? Because that's the Baltimore County Council that participated in the fraud that left me in jail. Your courts and the money you make off black bodies in Baltimore County. Baltimore County ain't under the dissent decree. Baltimore County ain't under the dissent decree. Baltimore City is. And we're going to go about the corruption. Why you was in office. The money you was making. We're going to talk about the letters and the emails you didn't answer. You feel me? We're going to talk about how you protect Scott Schellenberger. If Trump can go to jail, I'm getting ready to squeeze you too. Schellenberger going to go to jail. If she can go to jail, Schellenberger can go to jail. And Glenn is a witness. Pew's a witness. My testimony in Annapolis is documented. Sarbanes is a witness. Ben Jealous is a witness. You feel me? Tessa from the NAACP. Yeah, y'all witnesses. Johnny Oleski asked for a federal investigation. Nobody ever did the investigation yet. The town halls and the communities running for the county executives. If Trump is in the toilet, I'm getting ready to put a lot more of y'all in the toilet. Al Repmer is the <clears throat> insurance administrator. While under his administration, the state of Maryland participated in fraud. Under his administration, we're going to show you the money that they pay to keep us oppressed. He got a transcripts for a meeting and everything that he got in my case is going to be public knowledge. Like I said, it's all about Baltimore City and Baltimore County. That judge ain't here no more. But my testimony is contact the Baltimore Brew when I testified in Annapolis. Puppet law. We're going to show you the money behind the machine. Puppet law. Ehrlich. Mr. Conway and the Conway family, Xavier Conway, his daddy, Frank Conway. Yeah, we're going to show you the power and the money behind the machine, the haves and the have-nots. The haves and the have-nots. We're going to show you homelessness and the advocacy for homelessness. And we're going to show you them toilets. Because like I said, Trump is in trouble, so is you. If Trump can get indicted... So can Scott Schellenberger. If y'all want to protect Schellenberger, man, it's 52 of y'all going to go to jail. I want Scott Schellenberger the same way they got Donald Trump. I want him in the shitter. If Mosby can go to jail, so can Scott Schellenberger. Mosby's best bet right now is to snitch. If she snitch, she might not go to jail. That'd be her best bet. They've been snitching on us. You need to snitch on them. Cut you a deal. Because if you go to court, man, your toilet is the number one seller. Donald Trump and Shorty, a whole year of this. Like I said, I'm a black Republican, and I'm at City Hall all the time. I'm a radical Republican. Ask the Mosbys. Ask the people in the community. Everybody knows Shorty. We got Keith Davis free. Now I want a trial, and I'm going to sit on it till I get it. The supporters of Shorties, the people that support me in the community, my son, Philip Davis, we're going to talk about Hickey School and Judge 
in the magistrates out in Baltimore County. Y'all got that Hickey thing going on? Well, he was in Hickey too. He was in Boys Village, all that. Y'all created a, a school of prison pipeline in Baltimore. A school of prison pipeline. And we talking about saving these boys' lives. Shelly's helping hands. You feel me? We're going to have you stop picking our kids off the street like you pick cotton. This ain't the forbidden tr fruit. You feel me? Like Billy Holiday? No. We're going to save our kids. We're going to end this war on drugs. We're going to show that we got black fathers in the community. That's not for Father's Day, but all day, every day. We're going to end this shit that y'all got going on in Annapolis. If Trump can go to jail, so can 52 members of the Democratic and the Republican Party. Hogan can go to jail. If Blagojevich can go to jail, I'm going to start jailing some white people. Send some white people to jail. Right at City Hall. Y'all under the dissent decree. I'm getting ready to send this to the judge. Making a movie ain't against the law. Being an activist ain't against the law. Jobs for justice. You feel me? Jobs for justice. Senate bill. 122. We didn't pass it. Y'all not going to keep criminalizing poverty. Like I said, I got Donald Trump on my team. That's WJZ, Manic Monday, and Nick Mosby. That's Judge McDermott and Shorty. And this is Books Over Bars, Education Instead of Incarceration. You feel me? Books Over Bars. So by Christmas time, I want my Christmas wish. I want my freedom. Because I was making a movie about Baltimore, a Shorty documentary. And you the star of the show. You the star of the show. Never mess with a black man's mother. You feel me? That's against the law. I'm not Emmett Till. See that? That's the criminal charges. And right here, they altered this. I gave you an envelope. That envelope was about a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit. That ain't what you said. I went home on vacation and came back on probation. Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future. I want my freedom. I want my property. I want my $250 million. Making a movie ain't against the law. You feel me? Making a movie ain't against the law. Loving my mother ain't neither. Honor thy mother and thy father and thy day shall be long. Flag day gonna last in your memory forever. Because it's your birthday.